Coach, I guess first off, your initial thoughts on the two games. Uh, two, two good games. You know, two very uh, you know good teams and good baseball all the way around. Pitching, you know, was was very good game too. I thought for both sides, and um, you know, two two very good games could have went either way. Small thing here or there, and you know, you got two losses. And that, that game two, a six-five defeat. Um, Really close game. Uh, Gary pitched another game, a good game for you guys. Just not enough at the end. Yeah, yeah. You know, our guys, one thing they'll never do is they'll never quit. They battle, battle to the end. We've had some come from behind victories early in the year, and that really, you know, gave our guys a sense that they're in every ball game, no matter the score. Um, you know, so they, they do a good job battling. Again, you know, you're playing a, a good team. Eastern, they were hungry. You're going into their, their park. Coach Holowaty wasn't here today, so I'm sure they were, um, you know, a little inspired as well to, to, to get him a, a couple W's. And as far as the standings, two tough losses for you guys. You came in in first place now, four losses in the conference. Uh, your thoughts on that? Yeah, I mean, obviously we we you know knew coming in today if we could at least get one win or two, we, we'd be in good shape right now. Um, you know, we're sort of back to the pack now with the rest of the guys, so we got four games left. Um, our goal right now is to finish as, as high as we can going into the tournament. But the most important thing is playing you know good baseball going into the tournament. So um, you know, it's still capable. We got four games left, and we'll. You know, we're going to go hard for four games and, and see where we're at. And you mentioned that never give up mentality. How has that carried your team this season? Yeah, it's big. I mean, obviously, you know, as a coach, you don't like falling, getting behind early. Um, you know, again, especially to, to good teams. But, you know, our guys, like I said, they just never quit and never give up. And, um, you know, that's inspiring and that's contagious. And, um, you know, we, we always know we're in a game even if we get down, you know, big early on. But as a coach, uh, you know, it, it gives you, uh, you know, some problems when you're falling behind all the time. And what's it going to take in your estimation uh, throughout the rest of the season to kind of get get to where you want to be? Honestly, it's going to take pitching. You know, I think that goes for any team. You know, any, any uh, you know, whatever ball club can get three or four starters, you know, throwing the ball well going into the tournament, um, you know, you got a you gotta shot to win it. When we won it in 05, we weren't the greatest team, but we had four or five good starting pitchers that, that carried us into the tournament. And once you win a game in that double elimination format and you start getting into your third, fourth starters, um, you know that that's you're going to be successful. So the team that you know can get the pitching. Um, you know you look at some of the scores around New England. It doesn't seem like the pitching's been that great lately. But um, you know I think the team that's going to get pitching and plays defense are going to be tough to beat. Thanks a lot, coach.